let's start our discussion on CFE model for political democracy data set let's uh, load the library required law one and uh, the data set that we are going to use is political democracy which is uh, available in the available in the package law one let's uh, have a look at the details of the data set pull it up uh, this uh, gives the details of the data set it has got 75 observations 11 variables y1 expert ratings of the freedom of press in 60 y2 political opposition in 1960 y3 fairness of election in 1960 y4 effectiveness of elected legis legislature in 1960 y5 y6 y7 y8 corresponding to the same political variables in 1965 x1 x2 x3 variables relate to the industry scenario in 1960 x1 is gnp per capita in 1960 x2 is energy consumption per capita in 1960 x3 is labor force percentage in industry in 1960 now let us uh, have a look at the head of the data set First, a few records observations being shown here. Now, let us uh, develop the model. This uh, defines the model defines the latent variables: industry 60, democracy 60, democracy 65 in terms of the measurement variables. Now, let us uh, run the model uh, built then uh, let's run this uh, function CFA that generates the model now let us display the summary results of the model this displays the summary results uh, test statistics is 72.462 degrees of freedom 41 and p-value is 0 0.002 which is much less than 0 0.05 so we need to improve the model uh, let's see how to improve the model let's uh, run the modification indices in order to find out what improvements can be affected let's run it these are the modification indices so y2 y6 is the uh, covariance which will give maximum improvement in the test statistics let's include y2 y6 y2 double delay y6 double delay standing for covariances let's now run the model with the model display the modification indices also let's run the model together yeah now uh, let's see what is the res result there is an improvement uh, to test statistics 62 it has improved to uh, and uh, p value is 0 0.012 but still it is less than 0 0.05 so we can make improvements further let us have a look at what is the possible improvement in the modification disease y6 y8 can be included by which the Test statistics can be reduced by 10. So, possibly from the value 62, it will come to 52. Let's run it, uh, make the improvement y6, y8. Let us include and then see what happens to the performance of the model y6, y8. Now run the model display the results along with modification indices now let's see the model performance model yes it has improved by 10 test statistics and we have lost one degree of freedom and the test statistic p-value is 0 0.075 we can conveniently stop the model here since the p-value is uh, 
uh, higher than uh, 0 0.05 but still let us see the modification it is what are the other significant improvements that are possible y2 y4 can be included by which the modification indices can be reduced by 8.366 let's include the uh, y2 y4 in the model y4 let's say run the model now get the results there is a definite improvement in the test statistics and there is an improvement in the probability also let's see what is the further possible improvement is it required y1 y5 is a meaningful improvement that is possible let us uh, include y1 y5 then see this y1 y5 y2 y6 y6 y8 y2 y4 y2 y4 can be combined here y4 can be combined here we can jolly well remove this yes that becomes the new model let's run the model get the results so not much of a meaningful improvement which will uh, make significant contributions to the model considering the principle of parsimony let's uh, stop making modifications uh, any further so now what we will do is uh, let us uh, having developed this model now let us uh, plot the model for which uh, we need to load these three libraries let us load these libraries i have installed these libraries and if you have not installed these libraries you may have to install them and then load it it's getting loaded now let us uh, make use of the automatic layout configuration for graphing this cfa model let us run it automatic configuration this one has been run let us see the processing is on the graph has come so this is the cfa graph yeah, let us uh, zoom it it has come out nicely however uh, there are a lot of uh, uh, overlap and uh, variances of the measurement variables are not clearly indicated so let us uh, manually define the layout this is the manual definition of the layout this is the manual definition of the layout and let us plot the graph uh, as per this new layout this is the manual definition of the variable let's have a look at it yes this is the lay, layout new layout that is being manually defined with number of rows 2 let's uh, run the layout layout has been run and now let us um, plot the graph cfa graph as per the new layout so it has been plotted let's zoom it and have a look at it so it has come out uh, fairly all right however the some of the variances of the measurement variables is not being seen let us uh, propose a new layout in uh, excel sheet we will define it uh, define the layout and then save it as a csv bring the layout and display the cfa graph let us run it run this command line let us import the layout from 
excel sheet as a csv file let this is the layout layout pull them let us uh, import it and it is getting plotted it is uh, the graph sum graph has come out very nicely now let us look at the layout that has been put in the excel sheet this is a simple definition y1 y2 etc up to y8 variables dem60 y1 to y4 dem65 y5 to y8 x1 x2 x3 industry scenario 60 so the layout is uh, very simple to define in excel sheet and save this as a csv file let's close this file and then come back to our r session with the plot zoom now this uh, shows the layout in neat form cfa with this uh, let's come to the conclusion of our discussion on cfa model thank you the author dr a rajagopal can be reached at arg1962@gmail.com